Everything's a lie, right? Well, if that's the case, then... Then that means we can make a whole bunch of truths. It's to me. I don't know who you are. Oh, wait, no, he brings up a valid point here. He brings up a valid point here. No, wait, who are you? All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? And welcome to what may just be the final Dangarampa V3 episode here on this channel. It's crazy to think about, man. We've come a long way from not knowing who the killers were to pinning down who the mastermind is. I am so excited to end this game and figure out the truth and sort of see what plot twists this game has up its sleeve, man. I mean, we kind of seen it already, but I feel like there might even be something more out there, bro. And where we last left off, she's, we got Tamugi on the ropes right now. I knew it was her. And, uh, and now she's trying to pin this all on Junka and Ishima. So we're gonna see how this, we're gonna see how this goes. Also, I decided I've, I've turned my lights off, so hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully my green screen is fine. Uh, yeah, that should be that. Like I said, I, I'm at university now, so it's a little bit of a different setup. Cause it's always been her. In the Hope's Peak killing game, and in the Jabberwock Island killing game. Mm. Yeah, but this takes place hundreds of years after that Junko and Oshima didn't participate. She controlled the game from outside. Yeah, but there was also people who were in on it. There was M M Mukuro, there was Chiaki, and then now there's you, bitch. Even if it's boring or repetitive, she's always the mastermind, isn't she? No. Then it's like that this time, too. It's gotta be Junko again. That's you. So that's that's her, bro. That's her freaking. That's her rebuttal is the fact that it's Junko. She she can't deny that she's the per. Like, come on, dude. Junko and Oshima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. She was also dead in Dangerampa too. You're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's. It's all Junko's doing. This killing game is her doing too. I if if it is, I don't fucking see how. I really yeah. don't. That's gotta be it. Cause Junko and Oshima is what? Junko and Oshima <laughs> is right. Cause Junko and Oshima is. Don't play, bro. What? Junko and Oshima is. What is this, bro? Daddy, please don't get so excited. Look at our cute face. It. Junko and Oshima is. Can you fucking say it already? Junko and Oshima is what? Okay, time for a commercial break. No, what? You don't fucking do that. <laughs> See, we're a good comedy group too. So please don't blow this shit up. Finally, let's fucking go. Oh, let's go, both of them. Finally, fuck. Oh wait, what the fuck? Because Junko and Oshima is. Are you Junko? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Here goes the second phase. What, bro? Junko and Oshima is. Are you Junko? Right the fuck here. What? What the? Sorry to keep you waiting. Nah, what the fuck is going on now? I'm fucking lost. Uh, this game has me lost, bro. What are they talking about? What's going on now? What the fuck is going on now? I'm so lost. How is she alive? She's not alive. What's going on? What is this story? What is going on? Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go, what? Again? She really made an appearance again, bro. She really made an appearance again. Are you serious? Again? This is the third game. Why can't she just stay dead? Why? This is the third game where she, you would, bro. <laughs> she made an appearance at UDG too, bro. It's not a dang and romp game without her appearance. What the fuck is going on? She should not be here. The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko and Oshima, the fifty-third. I'm kind of excited to see you though. I'm not gonna lie, Diva is right. I'm kind of excited to see you. They're excited to see me too. Where did where did Tsumugi go? There you have it. Once again, the mastermind is Junko and Oshima. Now how how is Suichi not gonna believe this one, bro? Junko and Oshima. Yeah, what about that? What's up with that? Sumugi, what's the matter? Aren't you Sumugi Shirogane? Our friend who survived with us? You still on about this friend? You still on about being friends? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> 
Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Simugi Shirogane. Because I'm just a character. You know, a life. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of a fan of her, bro. She was kind of bad, but you're bad, so I don't really care. This whole fucking killing game is alive, bro. Nobody's dead. We never had a killing game. Suichi's gonna wake up and, and and be the last man on earth. Sumuki Shiragani was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. I didn't explain it then. <laughs> oh, you're your friend. Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> I could have done a better laugh. Uh, are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? There's something else going on, bro. There's something else going on. I just don't know what yet. But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Junko and Oshima. Yeah, but there's something else going on. There's something else going on, bro. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? Not really. I'm excited to see you, bro. <laughs> well, does it? No. What the fuck? No, I said no. That's not... Junko Inoshima is dead. Now, now, take Kyoko's advice. Now, look at this from all possible, si all possible angles, bro. It, it, what if she's alive? But why did you call yourself the fifty-third? Good question. Does jury repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. They explain. I don't fucking understand this. As you can see, <clears throat> I am a perfect reproduction of Junko Inoshima. Okay. So. You're just a freak pretending to be Junko and Ashima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. If, like a clone, if that's the case, then that's basically her, bro. <laughs> perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Tamogi, I'm not trying to see you after, after, like, what the fuck? I'm, swap back. I'm not trying to see you anymore. Her logic is impossible to follow. Much like the real Junko and Ashima's. How would you know, bro? Are you Makoto? <laughs> You're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? It's still Tamugi, but like, uh, what? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? There's always something going on, so no. I'm gonna say no. There's always some bullshit going on. Singing things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. It never That's... ends the game? What do you mean? It ended the first game when you got clapped. End the second game. Let's we'll slow down, Maki. We gotta think. If force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she. No need, Kivo, because this class trial is over. Sweetie, are you okay? What? It's already over? But I just showed up. Who is that, bro? You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. This whole the fucking thing is a lie. And this whole game is illegitimate. It's a bullshit game. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. You are not sorry. So? So what? So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! The killing game should have never began, because this wasn't a fucking killing game, bro. Huh? Yeah, we know they're up there. It seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that Tamugi, like, like, why are we just ignoring the fact that she's literally? Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. We already know. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. We know this. Did she just start some big story on her own? I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's Gopher Project. And my inner Junko told me. Told you what? Crushing the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. I mean, we know this, bro. Tell well, us something. Then I took the name <clears throat> Sumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. That's where, you see, that's where this gets hazy for me. I don't understand that. That's where this gets hazy for me. Did... Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? Fucking idiot, bro. Oh my god, you're the dumbest fucking person in here. 
He was your comrade, right? Dumbass, bro. Holy shit. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. She got two of them. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? I don't know. What the fuck? Why does this matter, bro? Why does any of this matter? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. You guys really thought he did? Are you guys- are you- are you also on- uh, Bro, don't be on my- <laughs> What a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Yeah, explain that shit. Or the person. The game being shown to. Where are the survivors of humanity? Maybe it's just one person. There's nobody watching. You see, I, 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 I doubt that. I doubt that. I doubt that. Huh? No, I doubt that. We were the last 16 <laughs> people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, that doesn't make any sense. And why not just kill us, bro? Why not just kill us in, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, why not just kill us? No, yeah, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? To be fair, they didn't. You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? Herself. That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. Your what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it. But how how is she here though? Like that's the thing. How is she a fucking carbon copy and how do, do they keep swapping out, bro? How do they keep doing that? Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, it's not. <laughs> you think that's- I'm gonna believe you out of all people? That's not the truth. No, that's wrong! Thank you! <laughs> Bro, is that his first no that's wrong he said in this game? I've been saying it this entire fucking series, bro. Why does he never say no that's wrong? Finally, he said the he said the line, bro. He said the line. Finally. Oh dear! I am so surprised! No, you're not. You are not surprised. Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? Good great yeah, great point. What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? Up until now, every single little piece of information we've received could all be a lie. Everything could just be a lie. This could just all be in fucking Suichi's head, bro. All these characters could just be made up as characters. Everything could just be a fucking lie, bro. Everything could be a lie. After the first trial was a lie, everything now could just be a lie. There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Yeah. Here, look at this book. Uh, he's gonna bring out the, 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 the killing game now, the pre- This is the one we found in Kokichi's lab. And it's 100% accurate. It's 100% accurate. And we never saw what this said. What does it say? Besides Tsumugi, she can stay out of this. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. I don't remember nothing, bro. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. I remember Kyoko was the baddest girl to step foot in those fucking doors. That's what I know. Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Did it? That's not how it started. They got fucking... That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. Yeah. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. All caused by a single high school girl. Junko Inoshima. Yeah, it was me. Alright, that's not a good thing, bro. Junko 
and Ashima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. What is he talking about? Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory box. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. Yeah? But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. So our memories are a lie. I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play? Spot the difference! Well, I don't know what the book says. That's a thing. What? Let's go. Alright, I'm in here. We gotta find the, the lie in our memories. History of Hope's Peak? It's just history. Yes. Inspiring war and terrorism around the world. Yep. The cause of all that despair. Was Junko. Was just a single high school girl. Yeah. A student of Hope's Peak Academy? The ultimate despair! Junko and Ashima. I did everything in my power to spread despair over the entire world. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't a single high school girl. All that fair. It wasn't a single high school girl. Just a single high school. No, it wasn't. It wasn't just a single high school girl. It was a whole gang of them. What? A student that helps oh, I missed. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, that's wrong. It was the old, it was the remnants of despair. It was a part of it. One high school girl started the tragedy, the <clears> ultimate <throat> despair, Junko Inoshima. Yeah. At least that's what I remember, but that's not what this book says. It says it was the rem there's remnants ultimate of despair. Doesn't just refer to Junko Inoshima. It's the remnants of despair. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. Remnants of despair, which was Dingarumpa Two. Those it's characters. Simply. There's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. So why lie about that? This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? Yeah, I mean, yeah, That's but... That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. No, not just her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. It's not a coincidence. <laughs> misremembered? It's not a coincidence, it was done on purpose. It's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies <clears throat> I'd like to point out. Like what? Uh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. Hmm, let's go. Maki, we'll do something after this. I don't know what, but we'll do so, something after this. Let's continue where we left off. Now that Tamogi's gone up out of here, you're the last one. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. Killing games. Killing games between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. My favorite Dangarampa game. I'm not gonna lie, I think V3 might be the best, but uh, Dangarampa one was my favorite, bro. I just fucking love the characters and like the the, the atmosphere, the vibe of Dangarampa one was just unbeatable. It was so it was untouched, bro. None of the other games could fucking compete with this one. They were locked up <clears throat> and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on! Dang it, Rumpa The scenario was avoided! Yay! A happy ending. Not yet. There are more points that can conflict with this history. I'll point the, those out next. All right, let's see what we got. What are our truth bullets? Okay. <laughs> hey, three of Hope's Peak again. Yeah. Because Junko had prepared countless ways of spreading the spirit. Okay. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were made prisoner by the ultimate despair. Okay. And forced into the killing game. Yeah. Oh, I have some bad news about that. Do you really? The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. 
What does that even mean? So the remnants of despair in the future foundation are still fighting, but now we've avoided the worst of it. They're not still fighting. They're not still fighting. It's different from our memories after all. What's the contradiction? They're not still fighting. They're not still fighting. They're not still fighting. Shoot that shit. Let's go. What? In the eighth class of Hope Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by yeah? the ultimate despair. No, that's wrong. They weren't held prisoner by the ultimate despair. They were held. Oh, they were held prisoner by Kyo. Yeah, I yeah. It was the headmaster, the mastermind. No, not the mastermind. It was the headmaster, aka Kyoko's father, who put them all in that school to protect them, to save them. Yeah. It was the class themselves. Yeah. They shut themselves in. They wanted it. They wanted to stay in there. Shut themselves in. Yeah. Why would they shut themselves in? Because they needed to survive, and that's when the it shit was going on. The Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. They use it as a, as a way to the to tragedy, hide. The seventy eighth class. Stay in Hope's Peak. themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. <laughs> yeah. And that was a good twist. That was a really good twist from the first game. By the ultimate despair. They weren't trapped, but they instead chose to be like that. Was a really good twist. Are you saying our memories are wrong? Of course they are. Everything's fucking wrong. It just means those documents were written all half-assed. No, it doesn't, bro. These are legit documents. The only thing that was written half-assed is your shitty-ass fucking dialogue, bro. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. No, they're not. Literally, no, they're not. saying is consistent. First, you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Fuck you. Let's just move on. I want to talk <clears> about <throat> one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. Okay. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, <clears throat> we were all in separate classes. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Okay. Just like I thought, there's something wrong there. <clears throat> but why? Why are our memories so different? <laughs> what? Are we, like, what? What? We're in Hope's Peak right now. Uh, Hope's history Peak Academy was rebuilt. This is a history, bro. We got a little history lesson. Recruitment of talented students resumed. Recruit. I don't know if we that's right. The new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Okay, it's not Which bad. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same. That's right. We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Fuck, I missed it. Why? Why are our memories different? We weren't. We weren't all students. We weren't all students. Shut the shoot that shit. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> Let's go. No, that's wrong. We getting we getting juicy in here, bro. We getting juicy. This is getting Hope Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard uh, that. Isn't that the same thing? I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope Speak Academy on my own. That's what you think. Me too. I chose to come to Hope Speak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? I think so. What if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too! Not this book. Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. His... Other... what? Evidence the you... The game we're in now <clears throat> is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. Yeah, but what about Rantaro? But remember what Rantaro said? There was a, he was in one. This isn't your first killing game. Yep. 
And he wasn't in those two. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. So what the fuck is up with that? Was was that a lie as well? Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? Well, he, didn't, he didn't participate in any at all. It was just a lie. I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? Yeah. And the inconsistencies <clears throat> don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh. An inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. Why? What? Th th this is what you're going on about? I thought this was obvious. He wasn't a remnant of despair? No. You got. Wait. They thought that he was a remnant of despair? Why, I, what? What? Impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. They thought he was a remnant of despair. I thought I knew he wasn't a remnant of despair. What are they talking about? The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, he wasn't. Then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. No. <clears throat> yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. He... So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? I'll show you. Proof that Kiji isn't a remnant of despair. I, I want to say it's that, but it's like, that could also be a lie. I think it's that, though. I, I think it's that. I'm just making sure there's nothing else. Yeah, it's that. Boom. This is it! This is it! The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Yeah. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, <clears throat> the group was only 10 people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher project. Valid. Look at Tony Hawk on the left. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. Excuse me. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. It is, it is. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. Exactly. But it's still not possible. Oh my god, what's your logic? Because Kaido's dead? Shut up, bitch. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback line. And neither was Kaito. They were in the hangar. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. Hmm. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Mmm. Hmm? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? I did. Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. The way they mass produced and the fucking... The question? I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. Yeah. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. Like the outside world, like the other like survivors or whatever. One might say there are survivors. Yeah. But another would say there are no survivors. Exactly. Bizarre, right? <clears throat> This shit is juicy. Lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, <laughs> and there should only be one truth. So why is there two? But then having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? What do you mean? What am I saying? Huh? 
<clears throat> Flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying it's meant for an entirely... What was it for? It's meant for an entirely... It's meant to fucking motivate us to kill. What was it for, huh? Huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? They're just meant to lie to us. What are the flashback lights used for? Why can't you select different memories? And what does it mean if those memories contradict each other? It's two different universes. If I put all the pieces together, it all makes sense. We'll be able to see the real truth. All right, Hangman Gambit. No fucking clue. I'm. I got no clue. No clue. Fuck. Oh wait, implant. 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 What does that even mean, though? I see, though. What does that even mean, though? Implant? Yes, that's it. <clears throat> the flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting memories? That was a dumb fucking... That was a dumb hangman's gambit. How, how are we supposed to know it's implant? That's stupid. It should have been, like, false or, like, yes. something. The hey, why? you could select for the flashback <clears throat> lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. They were lies. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... They were lies. They were all false memories. This game is a lie. They were all lies. <laughs> this game is a lie, bro. Lies? It's a beautiful lie. Oh, what a horrible truth. If the memories from the flashback lights are lies. That means everything we've heard up until now is just false. It's just not true. Everything was a lie. All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. Well, it's like, I feel like there's got to be a reason to choose to lie the way you did. Well, that is what it means. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. Flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light we emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. How? That light is aimed directly into <clears throat> the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Hey! <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. I, I find that hard to believe, to be honest with you. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. But we're still ultimates. <laughs> Students from except for you, Peak? except for you, you have no talent whatsoever. Yep, that was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope speak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. I still can't believe this is the chick who did all this. Like, do you hear her? Like, it. I still can't believe it's her. Like, she got a, like... How? <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <clears throat> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. What you trying to do? The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. Fucking cult. That was a lie he invented himself. Shout out to Kokichi. He to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. 
yeah, you know. Like, like it was really going to be that easy. <laughs> okay, bro. Get out of here. He Go usurped the Mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the Mastermind played along with a lie. Well, they had to. The Mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. I mean, they had to. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? Why do you sound shocked, bro? You're in a killing game. Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... False. You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being <clears throat> controlled. You all were. You have not controlled me, bitch. Remember when I survived. Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game. Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep. We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students, the symbol of hope. So you all could face despair. You controlled us with that big memory? Well, I mean, it's kind of a good thing they did that, because we would have just offed ourselves if it wasn't for that. So, yo, shout out to Tumulgi for hooking us up. Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. Like, you see, now, this gets to the point where I can't trust anything or anyone, bro. Like, after hearing about all this, I can't trust this. Like, I can't trust anything. New <clears throat> mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But, I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies! This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because we knew we would win. Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? No. It's not a lie. Was that also a memory you used to control us? Damn, so is Makoto really dead, bro? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? I don't fucking know. There was like six of them. At oh, first, this? you ran away from the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope. And then some little ass kid came over asking for some ice cream, bro. Asked for two dollars so he could go to the ice cream truck and get his SpongeBob ice pop. I did not have two dollars on me. Look at him. Oh, they didn't show him. But then you bravely chose to accept your fate. With this fake ass Makoto, bro. That is not Makoto. I don't you know took who. Took on he... all the wishes of your friends and family. <laughs> I would never be friends with them, bro. And now, you remember how you got here. <clears throat> Damn. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? This is kind of like segregated, bro. Wait, it's entirely... <laughs> Not kind of, it literally is, bro. It's dudes on the left, chicks on the right. What the fuck? It's not it, like... It, bro, it's entirely segregated. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, it's eight and eight. Bro. Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape. I'll never give up. I won't be defeated by the mastermind. We still won't, bitch. Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our emotions? <clears throat> Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. Yeah, but why bother about making it exciting? Were fake? Then what was everything till now? It was a beautiful lie. That memory, and that memory. That memory and 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 that Whoa, what? <laughs> if they were all big memories then Then what? Say it. Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Allow me to cut through Yeah, who knows? I don't know. My plans for mankind's last <clears throat> killing game kinda just fell apart. Alright. 
So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial after all. Okay, bitch. What the fuck is a long face for? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Then, who are you? That's Tsumugi, bro. What do you mean, who are you? It's Tsumugi. I don't know who you are. Oh, wait, no, he brings up a valid point here. He brings up a valid point here. No, wait, he brings up a valid fucking point here. If everything's alive, then who the fuck are you? What's not to understand? This is a valid point. I became me. What about that don't you get? If everything we've set up until now has been a lie and you've been you've just r fucking thrown it all out for us, then why can't I can I trust who you are? Then I believe you. But it's it what it's not though. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak. So you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? Yeah, who are you? I need no one else. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> That's the most random character you could have chose. That is the most random character you could have chose, bro. What the fuck? Wait, what? That is the most random character you could have possibly chose. Why him? Why? I know it's not. I know it's just all a fucking lie. I get. I get. I get where this is going. But why bring him up, bro? Why? Why make it look like him? Why, that is the most random fucking. Actually, I guess it's not random because it's a main character of the second game. But like, like what? <laughs> What about him saying I'm me? What if I'm him? What? what is this? Everything's alive, bro. Everything's a look at his swoop is going crazy right now. He's he's got a question mark swoop, bro. He's confused. Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island killing game. He is my least favorite main character, bro. Yo, shout out to Hajime, but I just didn't like him, bro. I thought he was a fucking bore to play as. I'm Hajime Hinata. Hajime, I did not like you, bro. Go get Makoto. <laughs> That's not what we mean. What are you doing? He's just being an imposter. What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. Cosplaying? How do you cosplay as a dude like that? That don't make no sense. That's not true. You're not cosplaying. It's something else. Yeah, this is just cosplaying. I didn't fucking care. This is kind of fire, though. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is kind of clean. This is kind of clean though, I will say, just bringing these characters back like this, like, it still doesn't make sense to me, so I'm still like, trying to see where exactly they're going with it, but it's still cool. <laughs> By her though, I didn't fucking like her, I'm gonna keep it real, I, I never liked her either. But it's not just normal oh. <laughs> Let's go, Yasuhiro was one of my favorites, bro. Yo, bring the Kamara here, yo, shout out to Yasuhiro, bro, much love to you, bro. Check it out! Even okay. Exactly the same. <laughs> Soda, bro. Soda was also cool. I also like Soda from the second game. Bro, bring Nakamara out, bring Kyoko out. I'll fucking lose my mind. Is Junko and Oshima also? Maki, I don't want you, bro. I don't want you anymore. Show me Kyoko. Get, give me a carbon copy of Kyoko, and, and I will I will gladly off Maki, bro. Yeah, it's my cosplay. Why can't you bring Kyoko or Nakamaru out, bro? Or Makoto or Bayakuya? Can you bring them out, please? Can you cosplay as them? I can perfectly reproduce a number of characters and actually become them! Yeah, but... But, like, how is this logistically possible? This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. I don't believe this. I feel like it's something else. I don't think it's just the fact that she can fucking like. How does she change so fast? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. How can she cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy? Thank you, thank you. Because Sumugi told us. Man, you fucking believe that shit? Use your detect. She lied, bro. She lied. 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 She lied, she lied, she lied. Then, what does this mean? Yo, Makoto. <laughs> That's good, bro. Bro, the fact that this man, the fact that these characters still make appearances in this game is crazy, bro. What? <laughs> if what I said was the truth, Hope's <clears throat> Peak Academy was. I mean, you, what you said wasn't the truth. 
you lied. You lied about not being able to fucking what Hope Speak Academy was. If Tamuya can cosplay as them, there's only one possibility. Hope Speak Academy is Nah, it's not fictional. It's not fictional. It still exists. Damn it! There's no way it's fictional, bro. It's not fictional. Hope Speak is not fictional, bro. It's not fucking fictional. We went through Hope, Hope Speak is not fictional. That shit makes no sense. There's no chance Hope Speak is fictional, bro. That's fucking no. Hope Speak is real. This is bullshit. Hope Speak is real, bro. It's not fictional. That is not fake it's at all. Fictional. It's all fictional? No, it's not. It's a fucking lie, bro. It's all a lie. Put this through your dick skull. It's not fictional. Fictional? No, no, it's not fictional. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. Please bring Kyogo or Bayakuya out, bro, or Nagito or something. Folks, Pete, the future foundation and the remnants of despair do not exist. Cap, you capping on your name, bro. Bayakuya, Antogami, Antogami, you're capping right now. Because it's all fiction. None of it actually happened in the real world. I hated you, bro. You were not cool. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Dongan Rampa. Kyoko. <clears throat> Wait, what the fuck? I didn't mean to press auto. I want to look at her more. Dangan Rampa. What? What are you even talking about? I want to look at her more, bro. Fuck! Get out of here, Mikan. Wait, they just broke the fourth, fourth wall. I just why am I not playing? Yeah, Mikan was also bad as shit, bro. She was a freak, bro. She was freaky as hell, bro. I just realized they fucking broke the fourth wall. That's right. Me, that nasty pig bark, and everyone else are all fictional. Fuck you. Hold on. Then. Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? No, it exists. It exists. This is all bullshit. Because nope, it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. It's bullshit. No, that's bullshit. What? No, that's bullshit, Suichi. Come on, bro. Isn't that surprising? <clears throat> it's surprising because it's false. Yeah. Up till now, you thought fiction was fact. No, it's bullshit. Fiction is just fiction. Duncan Rump is just fiction. <laughs> Yeah, Ding and Rob is fiction, but this is not... Bro, what are they doing now? What the fuck is this? Are they about to get me involved? Like, what is going on? I feel like I'm I feel like I'm gonna step out of my apartment and fucking be in Hope's Peak all of a sudden, bro. Like, what's going on? Am I a part of the killing game now? This whole Danganronpa story was just stuffed into your memories. Shout out to Mondo, bro. For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was, in fact, reality. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I actually, I actually liked Sonya, bro. I thought she was funny. I thought she was hilarious. That's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. Bring Nekomaru and Nida here. That's the only fucking Nengarapa 2 character we haven't seen yet, bro. A cosplay performance of the whole wide dog and romp off world. Bro, give me Nekomaru. Cosplay of the whole wide world? Give me Nekomaru. <laughs> Please, what the fuck? So, this was all fake? Everything was made up? No, it wasn't. It was not made up. Well, it depends on how you look at it. Like, yeah, technically Dangarampa is fake, but why the fuck do they know about Dangarampa? Why are they doing this, bro? I'm so... This is crazy, bro. The whole time, <clears throat> we thought it was real? Well, no, because it's fake. Did you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? It'd be kind of lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. That's like the legit Jugo. <laughs> I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. Cosplay me then. Let's see. Cosplay me. So if you want to make me your enemy, cosplay me before I you talk. Then your enemy is the world of Dongan Rampa itself. Akane, can you bring your fucking dude over? Can you bring can you bring Nekomaru here for me? Can you do me a favor? Your enemy is the world of Ding Dongan Rampa itself. <laughs> Why are they doing this? But why? Why would you do this? Exactly. Why make us think it's real? 
Well, duh. It's so you'd all play the killing game. You think I'm gonna listen? I, 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 I never listened to you to begin with. You were always a dumb one. This is the world of Gunk and Rumpa, you know? No shit, we're playing the killing game. Bro, where the fuck is Nakamaru, bro? It's not just any. Uh, <laughs> There goes Nagito. Bro, where is Nekomaru? That's literally the only one we haven't seen yet, right? Where the fuck is Nekomaru? I, I'm trying to think. Was there any... Oh, Chiaki. We didn't see Chiaki. But then again, she was like the... Tri we didn't see Chiaki. We didn't We didn't see Pekko. We didn't see uh, the chef motherfucker. All right, so there's a few we didn't see. It's a killing game that takes place <clears throat> in the real world. Propped up by fiction. In other words, let's go! Ultimate real fiction! Ultimate real fiction! Let's go! Let's go, bro! <laughs> let's go! The fact that Nekomaru was the one to say it on beat 2 is hilarious. Yo, let's go, bro. Nekomaru, let's go! <laughs> let's go, bro. Nekomaru in the building, man. Let's go. I know he has to shit, bro. <laughs> Everything isn't real. Then the world being in ruins is also fiction, right? They're gonna be like, oh no, that's real. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. The world outside is fine, right? I would like to believe so. <clears throat> right, of course. How did you like that scene? <clears throat> Our staff worked very hard on it. Yo, she, she, I'm not gonna lie, her voice actor's doing a, uh, 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 or actress, I guess. She's doing a pretty good job at, at sort of getting her, like, her, like, turning of character. She's doing a pretty good job of it. Uh, at least better than I thought she would do it. She's doing pretty good. Staff? <clears throat> There's no need to worry about the people backstage. Ultimate hall monitor. <clears throat> anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. The world hasn't been destroyed. You see, it still probably could be destroyed, to be real. Really? <laughs> <laughs> then we can all go home and... Nah, that ain't happening. Yeah, talk to him, yes, hero. <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. What? <laughs> if the world is still intact, then we have homes to return to... I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin-headed... Wait, that's me. <laughs> Wait, so my... Bro, did they really bring the voice actors back? to fucking to say like eight lines that's bro they if they got paid to do that bro they finessed a bag monokuma what's going on do you really want to know well i don't want to leave <laughs> forget about the world it wants nothing to do with you i don't want to listen to anything you have to say monokuma i'm keep it real the walls of this academy are your world now the Side world is of no concern to you. The audience certainly agrees with me, isn't that right, you guys? <clears throat> audience, you see, here you talking? What, what audience? Wait, what the fuck? Is this halftime now? Audience. Who the fuck are these? These aren't, bro, these are not anime characters, bro. These are not anime characters at all. Who the fuck are these people? <clears throat> bro, these are not anime. What? What? Who are these people? Bro, you know what would be fucking wild, bro? Now, here's what would be wild. Bro, if, if this happened, I would I would never play a video game again. Bro, if if... I had a fucking photo of me up there, bro. If I had a photo of me up there right now, bro. If they put a fucking photo of me up there, I would turn this bitch off, bro. I would turn this bitch off immediately. I would turn this bitch off immediately, bro. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if there's any. We've all been watching this killing game transpire. Kyoko. Kyoko. Kyoko, you are um you would you you've already replaced Maki. Where's Maki at? I already know she's sweating. She sees Kyoko walking in here and she sees me looking at it. she's like, oh wow, I got competition. Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. Sakura was a real one, bro. Shout out to Sakura. The soundtrack go crazy. Watching us? It's just like Shuichi said. 
This was all arranged because people want to see it. That's hilarious. So they're the same voice <laughs> they're the same voice actors, so the fact it sounds like Tomogi, but it's literally the same exact voice actor and basically the same voice. <laughs> I Sayako. So that's that's literally there was no difference in the tone of their voices. This was all a show. This whole killing game. Yeah. Everyone in this whole peaceful world watches this show. <clears throat> World? Now this is some crazy meta shit, bro. Cause they're talking about us now. Like you're talking about me playing the fucking game, watching the game, technically participating in the. Like this is this is some meta shit. This is this is the metaverse. <laughs> the outside world is peace itself. There's no despair or wars and. There's wars. Uh, yo, also I like Toko too. I forgot about Toko. I'm not gonna lie. Toko, Toko was definitely one of my favorite characters, and really just my favorite. One of, definitely one of my favorite characters in the series. But, like, this is where it gets super trippy, bro. Like, this reminds me of Doki Doki Literature Club. You guys know Doki Doki Literature Club? It was a game where, like, there was a character who knew she was a character in a video game, and she was trapped in it, but she knew about the outside world, like, the player's world, and just wanted to go to it, but she couldn't. This is, like, this reminds me of that. I think these games released in the same year, too, fun funnily enough. <laughs> Are you about to bring genocide out? All the people in this world are straight up crazy for this killing game. They brought genocide back. <laughs> they brought genocide back. Okay, let's stop filming. Wait, why would a peaceful world need a game like this? Because it's fun. It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary. It is so very peaceful, and so. It is so very boring. Uh, yeah, so that's, so that's just kind of cool, I guess. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. I am not bored right now. That I can tell you, I'm not bored at all. They need to let me lower the camera. I'm not bored, bro. This game is fun as shit. I'm stop playing around, bro. We created this ultimate real fiction <clears throat> so Danganronpa could fulfill that need. Every person in the outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. Are you guys Danganronpa fans, bro? Let me know. Is that Times Square, bro? That's Times Square. Everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. Yeah, I love the killing games. They're fun. So it's everyone's killing school semester. I still don't like... This killing game is the latest <laughs> entry in Danganronpa. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Facts, bro. Facts. I've been actually. To be fair, I wasn't waiting for this because I started playing Danganronpa after Google it up. Shit. I I I started playing Danganronpa after all the games released. This is the truth of this killing game, isn't it? The ultimate real fiction. We, I don't know. Why are you telling me? We were forced to play some fictional killing game. I don't. Danganronpa. What are they doing? Like, what the fuck is going on? What? How? Do I mean, yeah. Since I'm here, that means this is Don Don Rampa. <laughs> what is this? Can't you tell? It's the title of the current Danganronpa you guys are doing. What the fuck are they doing, bro? A testament to the unquenchable <laughs> thirst this blood-soaked world has for Danganronpa. Yo, this character was so overrated, bro. His voice was cool. Don't get me wrong, like, his voice was cool, but he was so fucking overrated, bro. Like, get off this man's tip, bro. He's not that cool. <clears throat> what do you mean? What does he mean, bro? Danganronpa's gone on so long because the whole world enjoys and supports it. What like there what character have they not shown yet, bro? I feel like they've shown everybody. Huh? How long has it gone on? Since 2010, little little girl. Did you forget what season of Duncan Romper this is? You guys are dumber than ants. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, what do I think, Makoto? What do you mean, what do I think, bro? I think this is all a lie. I think this is bullshit. What number two game is this? 
Motherfucker, this is Dengarapa V3 killing Harmony, bro. <laughs> right? I Well, I should be able to tell because I'm playing the fucking game. Why are they doing, like, I... <laughs> And if that's not I forgot about this hint, dude. Just feast your eyes below my belt. Yeah, no, bro. I'm looking up there. What killing game is this? What number dang a rump is this? You can tell from the logo? Then this killing game is. Are you fucking. Are you fucking serious? Why did they make me do this? I need a V, bro. I need V. I need a V. Where's the V at? I need I need a V, bro. Where the fuck is V? I need V. Do I gotta take like a V out of like the fucking like like box art? Do I gotta go here and, and take the V out of that? What's going on? What the fuck is this? Oh, 59, 58, this be the 53rd one? Oh, because of fucking Junko's name, I'm a dumbass. No, this is not the 53rd. Then where the fuck are the other 50, bro? This is only the third one I've ever heard. King King, correct. This is the 53rd season of Dongan Rampage. Where are the other 50 seasons at? Spike, I need those seasons. I want to play more of this game once it's over. In other words, Dongan Rampa V3's official name is Dongan Rampa 53. Hope's Peak Academy arc in Danganronpa 1, 2, then 3. This is so meta. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck is this? Hold on. What? Why don't they let us play? Where are these games at, bro? Where are these games? Bro, where are these games? The letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. I forgot about Le <laughs> Leon, bro. Again, it's the same voice actor, so he sounds the same. But isn't it just rad how it <laughs> looks like a letter, but it's really a number? Bro, that's literally Suichi. We know it's like, bro, when, when Digger Rumble 1 came out, he definitely sounded a little bit different than Suichi. Now he sounds the identical, bro. Our title is the 53rd, as this is the 53rd game we have masterminded. It was supposed to be a hint, but whatever. Since this is the 53rd season, one would expect to see a multitude of characters. But you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others. That's why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the 53rd season of Danganronpa. 53rd then where the fuck are the rest of the 50, bro? You're trapped in a fictional Danganronpa inspired world and forced to play the killing game. That is what the world desired for me. <laughs> that was kind of clean. So yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is... What, me? <laughs> is it me? <laughs> it's me, bro? What? The people of the outside world! I'm the mastermind? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm the mastermind, bro? <laughs> the people of the outside world are the ones who are forcing you to do this! I know damn well these are literally just staff members of fucking Spike Chun's off, bro. That's hilarious. The whole world is the real mastermind? 
The reason I made this world? <laughs> the reason you guys did the killing game? It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? It's not just me. It's everyone involved in this project. I mean, I did want it. This game is fun. I won't lie. Now that, now that they're kind of like sentient, bro, this I almost feel bad for them, bro. I'm sorry for playing your game. <laughs> is your brain leaking oil or something? Shut up, bitch. I hope your fucking head leak. No, your head was leaking oil after fucking me kind of sliced that shit up. The ones managing this killing game are psychos like the remnants of despair. They're literal managers! Literally! You said that already. So I want to hear your best guess. What company is running this show? Nah, you see, what if I pull this panel down and it's fucking me? <laughs> it's me on the other side. I see it. They talking about the developer team. <laughs> team Danganronpa? You did not sound sure when you were saying it. Yeah, the company that makes Danganronpa is called Team Danganronpa. You guys are behind in your studies! The audience knew the answer right away! It's in the title credits at the start, too. I think that's the first time they showed her. <clears throat> they about to play this fucking intro again? Wait, what? Dang it, Rampa. <laughs> Why are they replaying this? I, I mean, I guess I'll watch it. Coco Nuts. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework. I guess. <laughs> I've already reacted to this, bro. We saw this at the beginning of the game. I don't really need to react to it again. You see, uh, like, but like, what are these games, bro? Let me play these games. <clears throat> Let me play these games, man. What the fuck? Where are these games at? Bro, where are these games? Where the fuck are these games at? I want to play them. This story is not over. A new killing game will begin again. Team Dang and Rampa. <laughs> So, I'm also a part of Team Duncan Ronpa. We make the finest killing entertainment. Everyone enjoys our work oh so much. And our newest project is Duncan Ronpa V3 Killing Harmony. What the fuck, bro? I'm I like. I've got mixed feelings about this. I've got completely mixed feeling feelings about this. Let me keep it real. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Don't shut you up. You created an entire fictional world to make us do this fictional killing game? No matter how many false memories we've been implanted with, we aren't fictional. You sure about that? They ain't heated. Anymore. Let me go home already! That's impossible. Didn't I tell you that you have no homes to go back to? But why not? This is so meta. Because you're just like us. You only exist within the world of Duncan Rampa. This is, bro, this is literally Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm gonna keep it real. This is literally, and it's crazy because it came out the same year. This is literally Doki Doki Literature Club, bro. Just like you? Or vice versa, Doki Doki Literature Club was just like this. Like, what the f- 
<laughs> Still don't get it? You just need to ask yourselves one question. <laughs> Who the hell are you guys? <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad they brought Loco Morrow's energy back too. <laughs> Who are we? Who are we? <clears throat> We're the same. We're all just like you? Notice I didn't say like, oh, I got like it didn't say that though. Huh? We're just fictional characters created solely for this killing game. Uh, they all got the V's, the V three in their uh, in their eyeballs. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it, I'm afraid. Dangan Rampa is that kind of property. Huh? What are you saying? We're not fictional. We're living, breathing people. Your immaterial existence is a fabrication independent of your actual flesh and blood. I wish I knew what the fuck you were talking about. Yeah, you're all fictional. You guys out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You all didn't look like this when you first came to the Ultimate Academy. Those were your true selves. Now you're all just fictional characters. <clears throat> true That's selves. the truth. Is it though? That's the truth? Then our real identities... Normal people? We're just normal, average, everyday people. With no ultimate talent whatsoever. Bro. You, you, you could have kept this in Dangerampa 2. With, you could have flamed Hajime for this, not me. What's wrong with being a normal person, bro? I'm a normal person. I got no talent. Well, no ultimate talent. What's up with you, Nagito? Why you always gotta be like this? Students with no talent, just like me. <laughs> They're brought Hachi Man to say that. That's hilarious. But boring everyday characters have no right to be in Dunga Longa. So you were all made more suitable for your new roles. Everyone remembered thanks to the first flashback light. You were all given personalities, talents, and upbringings to create your characters. Much like that delightful documentary, Making a Murderer. This is like, they're, they're just controlling the show right now. I feel like we haven't even really gotten the chance to explain everything. It was at like, that point that the prologue of this story began. Yeah, Kyoko. Which means your ultimate talents are all just fiction. Then explain me being able to solve all these fucking cases when they couldn't our talents as well Ex then explain how how i'm the smartest one here and i'm the ultimate like explain that shit yep. your talents are a bunch of lies then explain how i'm actually like good at detecting though doesn't make any sense i mean they suited you to a certain extent but mostly in a placebo effect sort of way kind of like a form of auto suggestion you know like, if you do it, it'll all work out. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not just your talents. It's your personalities, families, memories. The fact that they still knew their voices, like, a decade later is hilarious. It's all fiction, created by the flashback light. Can you really say you're not fictional now? Maybe I can, bro. I don't know. Even if your body is real. Your identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fiction. To be fair, this could also be the the truth in real life, bro. Real life could also all be fiction, bro. We could be we could be behind someone's joysticks right now. We could be being controlled by a joystick right now, bro. You never know. This, really this world this is, is crazy. Now? This world is crazy, bro. There's endless possibilities of the the reason behind this world. Wait a minute. What are you babbling about? Identities, personalities, talents, 
and past are all fictional? That's stupid! It's not stupid! <laughs> Isn't this what you all wanted? Jesus, bro, they are screaming at me. You wanted this? Yeah, you wouldn't remember, but you guys were all from the outside world. Bro, Leon sounded different than that from Danganronpa 1. He didn't sound like Suichi. You could tell it's the same person. Like, bro, his, his voice actor lost his mojo with Leon, bro. It's not strange at all that you'd want to be part of the show you love. No way! Are you saying we wanted to participate in this killing game? That's not possible! How could we ever- Please, everyone, take a look at this! At what? <laughs> the fuck? Number 154. My name is... I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa and always wanted to be in one. I would, bro, you know what's crazy, bro? This might sound crazy, but I would honestly be the same. Call me crazy, bro. Put me in Danganronpa, bro. I'm not even exaggerating. Put me in Danganronpa. As crazy as that fucking sounds, bro, put me in Danganronpa. Seriously, put me in Danganronpa. I would fucking love that shit. Am I crazy? No. Maybe I'm a little crazy for saying that. I'm just keeping it real, bro. Put me in Danganronpa. I would love that shit, bro. If I were a contestant, I would <clears> want to <throat> be... An ultimate detective. If I was gonna be a contestant, I would choose to be the ultimate, the ultimate psychic. I choose to be the ultimate psychic, cause that's just what I am, bro. That's what I am in real life. So that's what I would be in the game. I, I, would also like detective would be pretty cool, but I'd choose ultimate psychic. Ultimate psychic would be me. I'd be the ultimate psychic or the ultimate detective. I'd choose one of those two, but I think psychic fits me more. I know there's been a few in the past, and I've always loved those characters. Which character's your favorite, bro? So I would want to be one of them. Uh, but I don't have to be a detective. I'll be anything to be part of the show. And I mean that. <clears throat> anything. <throat> I'd do anything to be part of Danganronpa. I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders. I promise. Everyone will love it. <laughs> Same, bro. Same. I'd be the I'd be the most psychotic person, bro. I'd be Nagito, X, bro. I'd be like Nagito, Bayokuya, and fucking Kokichi all in one person. Like I'd just be going. Like if I knew it was a game and I knew it was all fiction, I would go fucking crazy, bro. I'd do some crazy shit. And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. Well, you didn't. I'm also thinking about the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. You never got punished though, bro. You never, you, you fucking survived. What was that? Again, that was you, but like, what if it's still a lie? Wasn't that you, Shuichi? What did it look like, Maki? You use your no, eyeballs? It can't be. I'd never say something like. You wouldn't say that now, but this is you before you became who you are now. Before I became fictional? What? When we saw your audition tape. We had a flash of inspiration. The weakest ultimate detective ever. <sighs> Wouldn't it be great to see him grow? That's fucked up. That's You're the weakest we your character and had you join the gang. The rest of you are no different. You auditioned and were selected as well. Auditioned? Why did they choose you, Himiko? You're the most fucking. You're the worst ding around the. Yeah. You were all so excited when you were selected. I believe it was right after you all received your ultimate wardrobe. Huh? What am I wearing? How nice! Yeah. Huh? So, you guys are ready? <laughs> I'm skipping this, bro. Could Come it on. be? All right. <laughs> We really said that? Yeah. That's a lie. I have no memory of that. You just forgot is all. Because of the flashback light we used on you. The people you used to be are gone. You're fictional characters now. Do you finally understand? I guess. You are all flesh and blood fictional characters. I wish I was a fictional character, Kyoko. You know if I, what I would do if I was a fictional character? In Dangarampa? You don't want to know. So you got nowhere to return! <laughs> All that stuff's fiction too! Let me out of here! 
and my friends and family. My whole life before coming here. I guess it's fiction. Oh, fiction! That's what a backstory is. Yeah, let's go. You can't go back home. I get wait. There no. is no such place. Just like how there's no Togami Corporation in the <clears throat> real world. On Togami. The only place we fictional characters can live is in this fictional world. Only in this world. Only in Danganronpa. Only in Doki Doki Literature Club. Only in this world? Yes! The place you're actually trapped inside is the Danganronpa world! That's why you guys can't leave this place! That's why your only option is to continue the killing game here! I mean, the other dudes didn't continue the killing game. You're all fictional characters, <clears throat> created to kill each other. It's what the world wants. That's why there's nowhere to run. Enough. I don't want to know anything else. I've had enough. Ugh, that reaction. Creepy. You fell into despair. Not really, bro. I mean, it could it can be the worst thing in the world. Like, bro, people are playing your video. You're a character in a video game. That's kind of fucking fire if you think about it. I'm like, you know what? This, this is kind of clean, bro. Who's controlling me right now? Yo, yo, player. Whoever's playing as me, bro? Like, you messing with it or what? It's times like these, you need to look to your friends for support. However, all your friends are fictional too. <laughs> Why did they stop? For example, even Kaito's illness was given to him as part of his character. Why? Maki's not gonna like that, and I don't know why, because it's all fucking fake anyway. What? Oh my god, Maki, look, it's all fucking bullshit. I was the one who came up with that plotline and gave him that virus. Nah, that was Spike. I was also the one who came up with the plotline where you fell for Kaito. I, this is literally Doki Doki Literature Club. If you you cannot tell me this is not this is literally Doki Doki Literature Club. This is the entire plot of Doki Doki Literature Club. What are you saying? Except I'm gonna keep it real, bro. So far, Doki Doki did it better. <laughs> when it comes to breaking the fourth wall and like doing this shit, Doki Doki did it better, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Then what about Tango? Was she always <laughs> defending me because because that was her character? It's the same for me too. A character created to bring excitement to the killing game, much like myself. So the killing game swelled with excitement. Even my pants started to swell too. I didn't need to hear that, bro. You, you're telling us this is all a lie? Even my feelings? Doki Doki, bro. <laughs> Are you saying even those were lies? Doki Doki. Well, if you're going to call fiction a lie, then yes. Doki Doki. Everything in this world Doki, has Doki. a writing credit. All our words and actions are just a bunch of lies. For example, an unbreakable vow of brotherhood is just a simple plot line. You said it, bro. <laughs> However, that was a splendid plot line. No, it wasn't. You guys, you, you died like right after. Even that thing Kaede said that moved Shuichi's heart. It was, it was all part of the plot, bro. That was a lie. Cause the real Kaede said. I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. And who could forget Kaito's inspiring line? Don't forget, the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. That was a lie! Because the real Kaito said. <laughs> I'm not just gonna be a dunk on Ronpa. I'm gonna kill everybody and win! <laughs> you see, you can't blame You can't be like, wow, this guy's crazy. You can't blame him, bro. If he knows he's in the game, you can't blame him. That shit is like, bro, I'd be the same way. I'd be going crazy, bro. I'd be getting so hyped. Like, you can't blame him. I think. got fame and fortune. I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I would just say, bro, I'd be going crazy. It's all fiction. It's all a lie. Every single thing that has happened in this killing game is a lie. 
lie. It's all a lie. These are some beautiful lies, bro. The reason we're all here right now is because of them. Yo, that Kaede fucking death, bro. That shit was crazy. That shit had me in my feelings, bro. <clears throat> because of them, I was able to change. That's why I was trying to live for them, too. I was trying so hard to stay positive. But even if that's a lie, if... Why am I here? Why did I even survive this long? This is despair, bro. She's trying to get you to fall into despair. This is fiction. There's no greater meaning. No greater meaning to death. No greater meaning to life. It's all fiction. There's no meaning to be found in any of it. Hear me. <laughs> so gross, I can just bark. Don't. Well, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't believe all this stuff. How about that? You in despair yet? No. It will be troublesome for us if you don't despair under our rule. Popular, why it's gone on for 50 Bro, give me another 50 dangin' games. That reason is despair. Viewers flock to see your despair. That's why all those people out there look so happy. See? Bro, do I look happy right now? I don't look happy. I'm immersed, bro. I'm like, I'm. I'm immersed, bro. Yo, Sweetie, I feel for you, bro. I'm immersed in this shit. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help Sweetie out, bro. Sweetie, I'm trying to help you out, bro. Stay out of this despair. Is this despair? Is this what the outside world wants? No, I don't want this for you, Is bro. Is this what they want from us? I don't. I promise. I, I promise I don't, Sweetie. Snap out of it. I don't want this for you, bro. I want you to live. <clears throat> for fictional characters anyway. It makes the viewers even more depraved and obsessed when they feel sorry for you. That is such an old monitor. Just to revel in the depravity of it all. That depravity is the appeal of death games. It's the appeal of this very killing game. And if this is all a game, explain like... Like the, the purpose of like the Nana Cubs. Explain the purpose of like... Like, explain the purpose of some of these things, I just feel like so pointless as a game developer. <clears throat> so what are we supposed to do? Huh? What was that? What are we supposed to do? What's gonna happen to us? Why are they playing this song now? How did they get royalties for this song? I'm pretty sure I said this when Kaede died, bro. How did they get royalties for this fucking sad ass song? Claire de Lune, bro. What are you guys talking about? What do you mean, what are we talking about? What the fuck do we do now if we're video game characters? We're just trapped in here. We just restart the game? Like, come on, bro. I play this shit again? I ain't playing this shit again. Weren't you going to ruin the class trial and end the killing games? I still am, to be fair, I still am. I still am going to. Go ahead and stop it if you can. Try and stop a world obsessed with it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know Clarity Lou like that, bro. I'm still gonna stop it, bro. I'm still gonna stop it. There's no way to stop it. It's impossible. No, there's got to be something we can do, bro. There's always something. Oh. Are you giving up already? Never give up. There's something we can do. We, we're going to transfer our fucking bodies into the real world. We're going to become one with the real life. It's all a lie, isn't it? We're going to become one with real life, bro. We got this. Everyone here. Everyone who died. Everything's a lie, right? Well, if that's the case, then then that means we can make a whole bunch of truths. I can't fight for a lie, can I? You can turn them into truths, bro. Oh, what's the matter? Are you in despair? No, not really. <laughs> I'm really no not. No matter how much 
got you <clears throat> grow, Shuichi. You're still weak after all. No, I said a bitch. I'm gonna fucking. Now that you know it's all lies, you've gone back to the weak ultimate detective. What? <laughs> this pleases us. It is a despair fit for Tungan Rompa. Well, that was surprisingly disappointing. But I guess it's okay. We're still on script. I gotta turn this script off its fucking side, bro. I gotta turn the script loose. Everything's a lie. Everything's meaningless. Everything we've done, everything we've faced together, all of our feelings. What? Wake up, bro. Pitch black lies. Wake up, Suichi. You gotta wake up from this, bro. Wake up. <clears throat> Doesn't matter how many mysteries you solve. The mysteries were all fiction in the first place, all scripted. It's all over. It's all just a lie anyway. It doesn't matter what you do. It's over now. What? Huh? Is this the end? Please tell me, I'm asking you. Whenever I was in trouble, my inner voice would always get what? I, my inner voice would always guide me. That guidance is what brought me here. I don't believe that's a mistake. So I will trust it. Please tell me, tell me what I should do. Please tell me your decision. What the fuck? Bro, you don't have to fucking rub it in, bro. I didn't get a bad ending. Mm -hmm. Come on, game. Sit. Save this situation? No, I don't want to s What? <clears throat> what do they mean, save this situation? D wait, what the- There's two different interpretations I'm getting of this. Do they mean save as in, like, a save point save? Or save as in, like, save everyone? <laughs> what are they talking about? I'm assuming they mean save as in save point save. What? Do they- What the fuck, bro? Are they talking about saves and save the situation as in like save it? Or save it as in save point? What are they talking about? This is- this is incorrect dialogue. I'm going no, bro. I don't want to fucking- What? No. I said no. I fucking said no. I said no. I'm not saving this. No. 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 Remedy this situation. Oh, wait a second. Remedy this. Yes. Remedy the situation. I see now. It said remedy the situation. That's like, different than save. I, I didn't realize that. I hear your voices <clears throat> crystal clear. Is K Dog the most clutch character in this game? We're at an hour forty. <clears throat> My inner voice is telling me I need to remedy this situation. Am I playing as him now? That is why I will not give up. Okay. He just powered on. I will not give up hope until the very end. Okay, Makoto. Revive this shit, bro. This is revival. You mean what? This is exactly what you want, and I will give it to you. No matter what, hope is always within reach. We must keep our heads high and search for hope, especially in deepest despair. That's Makoto telling him that. Huh? What hope? You said so yourself. This killing game is the ultimate real fiction. If this is both real and fiction, then logically it can't all be fiction. True. Even if this world is fiction, even if we're fiction, there must be something we can do. 
So there must be a way to break through this. I won't give up hope. Not ever. Thanks. Jeez, how annoying. The outside world doesn't just want despair. It wants hope, too. If our voices have reached the outside world, then what my inner voice is telling me is... Oh, your inner voice? That's the voice of the outside world. What? What? I know, because I wrote your plotline, too. Bro, someone, someone did derail the script, bro. There's no way I wouldn't know who that is you're hearing. That's the voice of the outside world. The voice of the outside world? From the start of this killing game, you've had a unique role. You're the audience surrogate. What? Audience surrogate? Your inner voice allows communication between yourself and the audience. Okay, Kyoko. That function exists to keep the audience entertained. <clears throat> now tell me, what is your inner voice? Speak clearly and enunciate. <laughs> what is my inner voice? I'm playing as K-Dog. <laughs> I'm, if I'm a surrogate of the audience and we've been communicating this whole time, then my inner voice is actually... That's my will. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Audience survey. This is it. This is it. An audience survey? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yes, indeed, that is the truth. It's two-way communication that lets you participate in the program from home. That is your inner voice's true nature. The results of an audience survey. The voice I relied on for guidance was it just the audience answering survey questions? Every move you made was dictated by the audience's answers to that survey. Oh. For this season of Danganronpa, the main gimmick is audience participation. I mean, I haven't really participated. <clears throat> I haven't really participated yet. Let me participate. This is an antenna? I guess well, I am kind of playing the game. When your antenna broke and you went crazy, that was a big problem for us. We got flooded with complaints from the audience. But that's not your only role. You're also the audience's camera. We didn't play as him. No, what? Camera? What? How? Your eyes. Are the eyes of the audience itself? How? The audience's eyes? Isn't it? How? The outside world has been watching from your eyes the whole time. How? It lets them feel like they're really a part of the Danganronpa world. Uh, I, I, I guess. And it's all thanks to you! To the player and the people watching is two different people? That's why I'm so glad you survived all the way through. Because now I can use you to plunge the outside world into despair. D despair If the audience surrogate falls into despair, then the audience does too. Uh, By making you fall into despair, I can make the entire world fall into despair. My what? despair <laughs> will turn from fiction to fact and destroy reality itself. I doubt it. <laughs> Isn't that just the most delightful despair? K-Dog, you gotta make a worthy sacrifice here, bro. You gotta off yourself so they so they can't use you. You gotta off yourself. Why would you go to all this trouble? They're all off you Isn't for you. Isn't Juko and Oshima just a costume? Oh, Kibo, mon petit doudou. My cosplay is a perfect reproduction. I did not, bro. Actually doing stuff the characters would is totally part of that. Is that why you want the world to fall into despair? That's messed up! Yeah. <laughs> but that's the whole point of Danganronpa. The outside world wants to see horrible setups and payoffs! <laughs> Yeah! What could be more horrible than a fictional despair eroding the real world? No one could have imagined an end to this hopeless. No. <laughs> oh, let's go. He said no. I won't give in to despair. I won't. I, I won't either, bro. I won't either. 
I won't either. I'm not giving you what you fucking want, bitch. If I'm a surrogate for the audience. Yeah. Then I will use my inner <laughs> voice to broadcast hope to the outside world. Exactly. Let's go. I already fucking told you. The outside world only wants to spread. No, I want hope, bro. I'm, I'm team hope right here, bro. Team hope. There's no way to spread hope to an audience that watches television. I'm right here, Kyoko. You, you sexy. Hmm. No. My inner voice already told me what to do. I need to remedy this. Yeah. If that's the voice of the outside world, then the outside world actually wants hope. So I will trust the outside world. I will trust in hope. You will trust the killing game. Ultimate hope robot. <laughs> hope has been recorded in Monopad. Okay. This is the power of hope. This is the power of fucking I will hope. not lose to your despair. Not when I'm carrying the hope of the outside world. Okay, let's get it. Let's get to work. How annoying. Hope? That's not popular. Let me let me hear let me hear K Dog say no that's wrong. Well, if I can get someone like you to fall into despair, that'd be a great ending. Well, it's not gonna happen, bitch. I won't let you do that. Hope will never give in to despair. That's literally the same thing Makoto said in the first game. Word for word. <laughs> oh, you're going to go that far? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's settle this. Let's go. Okay, let's go. That that's some shit. I, I this is some thing I want to see here. Loudness. Bro, shoot a troop bullet. Is a problem. <clears throat> the class trial is in disarray because Monokuma broke the rule. You're the one who broke the rule. How about we start over and have a special vote? What? Special vote? But you're the one who broke the rules in the first place. Whatever, man. We've made it this far together. Let's just do one last vote. Vote on what? This final special vote will determine between Kibo and I, which of us should get punished? Why the fuck would I choose K Dog, you dumb bitch? What? Why would I choose K Dog? This will be a vote to determine how this story ends. I'm not choosing K Dog, bro. You guys have to decide whether this story ends in hope or despair. I'm not killing K Dog. <clears throat> I'm not killing K-Dog. end in despair? I'm not killing K-Dog, bro. I don't give a fuck. We decide? I'm not killing K-Dog. Even if it gives me the bad ending, I'm not killing K-Dog, bro. <clears throat> I'm not killing K-Dog. It's not happening. Oh, man. This is great. The outside world is starting to get jammed. I will fall for your traps, Monokuma. Hope will definitely win. No one here wants despair to win. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Can't side with the mastermind. Even if that choice ends in your suffering. So be it. Suffering? So be it, bro. Be a real one. So be it. All right. Let me explain what's going to happen after the vote. If Kibo, representing hope, is punished, and I, representing despair, win... Yeah. Then, per the rule, the killing school semester will continue until only two students remain. So why would I want that? You're going to continue the game? Why would I why would I do that? No need to worry, because there aren't gonna be any more murders. My predictions are always correct 30% of the time. Not even bro, my predictions are correct 100 percent of the time. I'm the I'm the troll this idea. Even if we make new flashback light motives for you, you know they're lies. So no matter how many motives we provide, it's more likely that nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. What? No, that's no way to live. Imprisoned in the school, living lives of despair. Even if you went outside, there'd be no point. What? As I said, all your memories are nothing but fiction. But I don't trust anything right now. Your hometowns, your families, your friends, they never existed in the first place. Well, I came from somewhere. Oh, fiction! I came from somewhere, though. Dongon Rampa characters can only live in the Dongon Rampa setting. Well, I won't be a Dongon Rampa character anymore then. There's no reason to pull out of school. Only losers pull out. You're a f 
motherfucker, you ha you have no play, bro. You get no bitches. You should not be talking about that. Then at least put us back how we were. Silence. We've not over spilled milk. What? I told you guys already. You can't get rid of memories with flashback lights. I hope you guys don't mind this video being a little bit longer, bro. I'm trying to finish this game. Flashback lights can only overwrite old memories with new ones. But if you're absolutely serious, then use a flashback light to become a different fictional character instead. So we can't go back to the way we were? No, we can. Uh, yeah? How about that despair? No, we can, bro. But if I, representing despair, am punished, and Kibo, representing hope, wins, then this killing game will end, of course. However, you must follow the rules. The game will continue until the final two. So only two of you can graduate. All right, me and Maki. <laughs> Done. Case closed. That's my decision. Me and Maki are surviving. What? Me and Maki. Out of the <clears throat> four of us, only two can survive. If it's all bullshit anyway, then fucking yeah, fuck it. Me and you, Maki. Yes, Let's get this. So. I will let you decide the two who will survive. Me and Maki, bro. Neck, easy. Sorry, K Dog. Yo, sorry, K Dog. Sorry, uh, sorry, Himiko. You, it's been a real one. It's been real with y'all, man. But I'm going, bro. It's me and Maki. Let's go, Maki. We got this far, and you're telling us to sacrifice more of our friends. It, it is what it is, bro. Let's get, let's get this. Just two measly sacrifices, and then the rest of you losers can leave the academy. However. Even if you do escape to the outside world, you will find it most unwelcoming. You will find it no. most unwelcoming. As long as we never give up, there will always be hope. Thanks. Well, if you're gonna be a pussy about it, do whatever you want. What? <laughs> Can you choose which two will survive? Can you choose which two will be sacrificed? Yeah, obviously. The fuck? I sacrifice myself! Yo, K Dog, don't do this now, bro. Now, now I think about it, K Dog, I, I kind of want you to survive. You're going crazy what? right now. Kibo. K Dog's going crazy right now, bro. If K Dog actually dies, bro, K Dog's going, he's going crazy right now. If it will bring hope to everyone and the outside world, I will gladly sacrifice myself. Would I do this? Fuck no. <laughs> but, Kibo. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm surviving. It's okay. Even if it destroys my body. I will defeat despair. Kibo! Even if you sacrifice yourself, you still need one more. All right, Mahimiko. <laughs> I already told you, bro. In order for hope to win, there needs to be one more sacrifice. You see, this is some shit Makoto would never say. He would never have anyone sacrifice for hope. But yeah, like, bro, let's get let's get Himiko up out of here. Shuichi, Maki, and Himiko. <clears throat> One of them has to sacrifice themselves. Yeah, here we go. The fuck, stupid. I, I know, obviously, they're not. I, I, it's not. This isn't what's gonna happen. But like, if if it was legit, then yeah, get him to go out of here. Or hope can't win. That's bullshit, bro. Do you got the guts to make such a heartless choice? Uh, yeah. That's... Do you understand now? Even if you choose hope, you will still suffer. You don't need to choose the hard way. No one expects you guys to do that. You may no run. Yeah, there will be no more killing. So let's all just stay here together. There's no reason to go outside. Let's stay here together. Won't you stay here together? No. Let's all stay together. Now that you two just said it back to back, I'm starting to rethink my decisions. Hold on. I don't want to stay here with you. Not you. You're a dude. <laughs> Everyone will feel a lot better after they vote for Kibo. Come on, let's stay together, please. No. Together? Okay. No. Don't let her fool you. Exactly. Despair won't end this killing game. Only hope will. Exactly. Oh. All right, we, we let's go. <laughs> let's go, K Dog. We got the K Dog cam on this bitch. Hope, bitch. Hope. Shoot that. Let's go. Move. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck that. I, I see it. I'm trying to hear his no, that's wrong or whatever. 
Ah! Fuck! Ah! I'm massing, bro. Ah! I missed one. I missed one. I won't allow you to do that. Ah! Bitch! I think that was one I missed. No, it's that one, bitch. Ah, she dead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He said, "Hope moves forward." I will never give up. Hope will never lose to despair. Let's go. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Even if you won't give up. As long as you don't sacrifice someone else. I'll sacrifice myself. No, don't do this bullshit, bro. Stop, Maki. You fucking ruined the mojo. We're not killing nobody. You fucking ruined this shit. What? No, you ruined this bullshit, bro. If <clears throat> Kibo and I sacrifice ourselves, then Shuichi and Himiko live, right? That is, that is worst possible outcome. That is worst possible outcome, bro. I'd rather sacrifice myself than fucking be survivor with Himiko. I'd rather sacrifice myself. Survive this absurd killing game. I'm not fuck. I'd rather off myself, bro. If if you know Himiko, if you want to just survive it, let's just let Himiko survive. No. After listening to Kibo, I've decided. Well, Kibo wasn't done talking. You fucking ignore. You interrupted him. I don't want this killing game to end with despair. That would just piss me off. Bro. Even if you only feel that way, cause I wrote you like that, just like with Kaito. Even then. I'll choose that ending if it means I can kill you. Even if I have to sacrifice my life, I will kill you. There's gonna be no sacrifices. I'm keeping you guys alive. Sacrifice. We're not sacrificing. Wait, Maki! We're not sacrificing, bro. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I've already made up my mind. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. But what's gonna happen to us? Can we really go back to the outside world? Never listen to what Junko has to say. What it's all indeed? bullshit. I told you over and over, there's nothing for you out there. No, once the audience sees this ending, I'm sure they'll help us. Everything is going to be okay. We'll definitely find hope. What do you mean, hope? What? I reject that hope. What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? I... I refuse. What the fuck are you talking about? I won't accept that hope. Why not? Shuichi, what's the matter? What are you talking about? It's because of hope that this whole thing is happening. I reject that hope. What? I gotta speak some sense into this bitch, bro. <laughs> In this fucking plane is. Yo, they they probably paid they probably paid some hope. They probably paid some hope fat. Self is the villain here. Bro, they probably paid so many fucking stacks we to get royalties for the song. They're like, man, we're gonna fucking use it, bro. Mugi isn't trying to make us despair. He's like, bro. She wants us to trust and hope. We fucking paid for this so song. We're gonna no. use this shit. That That's hilarious. They're like, man, we fucking we spent so much money on this song. We're gonna use it. <laughs> wants us to trust and hope. What does that mean? The reason this madness has gone on 53 times, it's because of hope. It's because the audience wants hope. They want to see hope defeat despair in the end. It's hope's peak academy all over again. Hope's so if we fight for hope. We just be giving them what they want. The song is like Mario Galaxy, bro. <clears throat> Fuck, I gotta beat his Don't ass. See? Despair is the only choice. Fuck. Sweetie, why? The re despair is the only choice. I will cut, cut your, your words. words. I've only had 20 minutes left of filming time, bro. Despair takes everything from people, even their strength to press onward. That's why it's not possible for despair to be better. Hmm. The people watching probably feel the same way. They want hope too. What? Even if it's fiction, everyone wants to feel hope. It gives them courage. And this killing game continues because we keep giving them the hope they want. While they ignore all the tragedies that we had to suffer to get there. Shuichi, that's... Then let's start the voting time! No. What? The final vote! It's all gonna end here! You and your shitty hope! Nah. 
Wait! We're not finished talking! Please, let me just ask one more thing. I have to know something before we vote. What is it? If Hope wins this final vote, Kibo and Maki will sacrifice themselves. No. <laughs> okay. And Sumugi, the loser, will also be punished, correct? We're not doing that. I'm not sacrificing Maki, bro. Or k Dog. What kind of punishment will they receive? Please, tell me what it is. I'm not- No, I'm not doing that. Then I'll fucking fall into despair. I don't give a fuck. I'm not- I'm not letting- Why should I tell you? I never said anything about a punishment, did I? That's right! The punishment isn't the problem right now. The problem is... No, that is the problem. Because if the punishment is what I think it is, then... They get fucking... They go back home? Everything would make sense. Including why Rantaro participated in another killing game. Rantaro? What does he have to do with this? You know the answer, Kibo. <laughs> They're making me play as K-Dog now. This is bro. <laughs> if you really are connected to the outside world, then I want you to find the answer. The final punishment. If if it's the reason Rantaro participated in the killing him again after surviving, then the punishment must be. This is it! <clears throat> Got it. The punishment is you have to participate in the next killing game, right? What? Yeah, I think so. The punishment after the final vote is to participate in another killing game. Um, That's what Rantaro was talking about. So he got punished. You wanted this killing game, so you have to win no matter what. No matter what. Something similar must have happened in the last killing game, and he was given a choice. He sacrificed himself, and was forced to participate again. All this means is, if we choose hope here, the killing game won't end. Tsumugi will still be the mastermind, Kibo will still represent the viewers, and Maki will be the new ultimate survivor. The killing game will begin again. Don't you see? If Hope wins, the killing won't stop. It's because Hope wins that the killing never stops. It's what the people want. They want Hope to uh, win. This, this they is want a, the happy ending. This is a long ass straw, bro. Holy That's shit. The killing game has gone on 53 times. The killing game persists because Hope always wins? That's why I'm going to reject that hope. That's despair. <clears throat> You're going to choose despair to end the killing game. How boring. But this is fine. Our audience loves despair, so this will please them too. Um, After all, I'm speechless, bro. <laughs> despair wins. The killing game still won't end. Then, hope has to win this game too. If we continue to win for hope, then this killing game will surely end someday. No, you don't get it. It's not going to end. It's going to keep happening over and over. Th then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> when Maki said she was going to sacrifice herself just now, I thought, <clears throat> why? So many of our friends have sacrificed their lives. Why Maki? Why now? Why do we have to go through it again? The sorrow of losing Kaede and Kaito. Why do we have to feel that sadness over and over and over again? Why do we have to bear that burden? Because we have to? Well, I don't care how much the audience wants it. I'm not going to feel that way anymore! I don't want anyone to feel that way anymore! Even if this is fiction, even if we're all <clears throat> fictional... All the deaths... The pain in my heart is real! Mmm. The sadness I feel when I lose the people I love is real! I won't forget this game that treats us like toys. And if this is what the world wants... Then I reject that world! I'll fight the world that inflicts suffering for entertainment! He's talking to me. <laughs> He's talking to me right now, bro. It doesn't matter what you do. 
No matter what a fictional character does or says, it's just fiction to the outside world. Then I'll fight the outside world from within this fiction. From within this fiction? But how? Fucking no idea, bro. I refuse to vote. What is that gonna do? <laughs> refuse to vote? Yeah, bitch. That's what I'm gonna do. said that if we don't vote, we'll be killed for breaking the rules. So be it. Yes, I know. That's why I'm doing it. Nah, we're not gonna this do that. Ends without a single vote being cast for hope or despair, <clears throat> the audience would hate it. They'd never accept an ending like that. So I abstain. I refuse to give the outside world the ending it wants. I won't vote for Kibo or Tsumugi. I reject both hope and despair. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. It's a little bit late. Hope won't end the killing game? If that's true, then this feeling that I must win for hope is... What am I supposed to do? Hope. <laughs> I'll put a stop to this killing here. You can't stop it! I'm gonna run my hands! I'll be out of a job! <laughs> Even if this is all fake, our suffering and pain is real. It was rough for me, too. It was not rough for you, bro. What the fuck you gonna do? You killed <laughs> Ain't it better to just let it end with despair? Dog, you all killed somebody. I reject both hope and despair. I reject the world that would make us do this. Which is why I abstain from voting. So this won't end in hope or I, there's nothing. There's nothing to shoot. You can't throw away your futures. Hope is contagious. Hope is contagious. Let's go! Okay. That was a long time. Okay. Kibo, what are you doing? <clears throat> Did your inner voice really tell you to do that? Did it tell you to reject hope? You sound afraid. <clears throat> no. My inner voice is still telling me not to give up on hope. But if that hope demands <clears throat> tragedy from us, then I cannot trust it. I may be a robot, but the thought of my friend still fills me with. It's sadness. crazy because I actually have to end the game, bro. Or I have to end the video. Else to feel this way. So I will abandon hope. What will happen if you do that? <clears throat> to defy the audience? I don't give a damn. This killing game is over anyway. New characters are created just to show the outside world a fictional hope. They get written into these killing games, forced to betray one another. And at the end of the slaughter, the tragedy, the despair, hope always wins. Yeah. Well, I've had enough of it. We're gonna end this right now. Okay. We won't let it end the way they want. We won't make a good ending or a bad one. I, to be fair, I kind of want a good ending, bro. Like, what the fuck? I want to this ending this to be good. And end it forever. I don't want it to end. I want to keep doing it. We will reject Danganronpa. Okay, reject Danganronpa. Tsumugi, you were right. I'm weird. <laughs> Weaker than everyone else. If I didn't have my friends, I'd be useless. Nah, see the weakest, bro. See the weakest. That's true, even now. If Kibo and Maki didn't stand up, I would have ended it all right then. But it's because I'm weak and because I lost my way that I finally realized. I finally realized how cruel this hope really is. Hold on, everyone. We keep thinking. We can find a better end. And Bro. Kiko, Maki, will you abstain from voting with me? I just said, just abstain from voting? Bro. You can't do that. All three of you will be killed if you do. All three of us. You guys really want to commit suicide? You mean four? 
You've been fighting so hard to survive, but now you're gonna give up? Such foolishness! To cast your life away is the height of stupidity! You literally casted your life away, Gundam. I... Kimiko, we can put an end to this insane killing game. We're gonna use our lives to end this madness. Use our lives? Bro. But Himiko, you have to choose, okay? You can't look away. You can't back down. You have to choose. What is good? I'm Only so. Those who have found the truth can choose their destiny. We can put an end. Am I playing as her now? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, bro. I gotta end the fucking video, man. I, I'm sorry. I know we're in the ju Bro, I have to end the video because I've got three minutes left of filming time. So I gotta film this outro right quick. Alright, look. I'm gonna finish this game tonight. I'm finished. I'm gonna export this onto my PC. We're finishing this game tonight. Three. We had to do a three-parter for this trial. This trial was long as shit. This video is at two hour mark right now. Two hours, 12 minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a pause on this, bro. I'm sorry. This game, this video is just fucking way too long, man. I'm literally out of space. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in part three, the final, the, the part three of Trial Six, the final episode. That'll confirm me the final episode. We're finishing Dinger up tonight. It's two eighteen a.m. We're finishing this shit tonight. I don't got class tomorrow, so we're all good. Yeah, we'll finish this shit tonight.